Hello everyone, it's Nick Lawson with CDC Take Charge Software and this is our first lesson in our new series of writing XBasic code and contrasting that with action scripting and high level code that you can do in Alpha Software as well. In order to take and go through this lesson we're going to use a tutorial that Alpha Software provides freely with their application and it's their famous little message writer system called it's for you now this is a cute little program um, and it has lots of interesting alpha function or alpha software functions and x basic coding to help you learn uh, the proper way to write stuff in x basic first let's take and look at our main screen you have a button here that says read me you have exit and you have please log in well, before we can log in, we need to know what to do. So let's do the read me. Pops up a little window, and it takes and tells us basically what's going on. Now, this is just a dialog box that they wrote that is information, and it's a good way to use a dialog box. On the form, it says that Ricky uh, Manez is the, has the most messages, and password is his password. It also states that each time we open the application, the dates for the messages will be updated so that we are always looking at the last three weeks worth of information. This is so we can follow along and we don't have messages drop off while we're learning how to write X basic code. So let's log in as Ricky. So we click log in. We hit a letter and as you can see this is a progressive lookup. So we want it Ricky. There he is. We'll put in the password which is password. Say OK. Now, as you can see, this used to be a button. Now it's variable text and it says, Welcome Ricky. Um, and down here it says, What do you want to do? This is our menu system. But instead of being buttons, it's radio choices. So it's one object with three choices on it. Uh, kind of a cute way to do it, except I don't like the little dancing ants around it. Um, so you choose what you want to do and then you click next and it executes based on your choice so we'll go next we want to see our messages there you go it pops up a form which looks like the note taking memo pads that a secretary used to have on their desk if they were answering phones uh, so it's while you were out everybody knows that familiar form uh, on the date somebody called the time they called who was from where they're from, what the basic interaction with the person calling was, and what do they, where do they call from, and when do they want you to try and, and reach them back. Also, and a message. So, and down here you had message ID and who took the message. Pretty much very basic stuff. So what we want to now do is look at our different choices of views that we have over here. We have today's message, which, here you go, um, we can read that one, which is basically the one we were on. We also have Connecticut. Now notice when I select a message over here, it updates over here automatically. And the message detail basically just closes this window. Also notice that this is a tree view. Now the reason they did that is if I come down here and show all by date if I scroll through my list I have some where like 914 I have two messages on that date so I can select either one that I want to see and then do the update and it changes to that message so that's pretty good the little tree allows you to expand and drop down the list so that if you have a lot of messages you don't have a big huge list to scroll through you can segregate it and sort it um, and make a tree out of it so that it's easier to manage also you can look at the first date and the last date now this is basically filtering on all messages um, for the person that you're logged in as and then you can print the message or messages and you can take messages so that's it for that screen. Now, if we want to manage users, 
it pops up a simple screen that allows us to take and uh, maintain and add users to our form. The add user button they're using one in the toolbar will certainly jazz that up and allow it to take and work a little better and we'll clean this form up and make it look better. Um, and then take messages basically brings up the same form we were on before only it blanks it. All right, and it puts the taken by as the person that's logged in and the four you would take and hit your button to pop up a list and then you can select who you're taking the message for so if we do Pat McDermott um, oops, there you go those are in sets the time sets the uh, or the date and the time and then you go ahead and you can fill it in um, so from Nick uh, of CDC and I telephoned and I need information um, please respond and I want you to call me back so call my cell and here I can put the number in that I want you to call I'm not going to do that um, and I can set when um, let's make it tomorrow from um, we don't want to call it midnight so we will do 12.25 p.m. to 12.45 p.m. give me 20 minutes pretty much that's it um, now if I was to take and go search on my messages for Patrick McDermott I would find a message for her from me and finally I can mark this as urgent there you go. Mark is urgent. So there you have it. Pretty simple little system. So again, this is what we're going to be reviewing. Um, I like to keep our little videos short, so we're not actually going to do any examination of the code, but this will be where we'll be working from for the next several lessons. I uh, hope you find that this will be an interesting little uh, session for you, and I look forward to uh, having you guys stop by again. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.